going on everyone? Welcome back to our Minecraft Season 3 walkthrough series and in today's episode we're going to be constructing I'm actually going to be showing you first what I did off camera and then we're going to go over here and construct my underground farm for my wheat farm as well as my reed farm and also I'm going to just I'm going to plant a bunch of different things down here so as you guys can see off camera I cleared out the rest of this tunnel which I will be continuing this pattern all the way down here. And then, um, actually let me go show you guys real quick at the end of this tunnel. I was thinking about installing a minecart system just to make traveling a little bit uh, quicker. And also I need to harvest these trees that are floating above here. But this is what I, w I kind of had envisioned. I'm going to build this large underground fortress. And then it's going to overlook this valley below. And, I, and possibly I'll build my next base on the top of one of these mountains. Um... So yeah guys, I did this off camera. Another thing that I accomplished was I finished my fortress entrance, the fortress hub, in my previous video after my recording session. So let's go take a look at that guys. Let's go over here and I will also need to craft some more bread because my food source is starting to run a little bit low. So here we go. Let's go and I'm going to throw this in here too. We'll put this... See, I have some, uh, what's it called? I have some more coal going in my furnaces, and we're going to throw this into my valuables here. Let's just put it, yeah, let's put it right there for now. <clears throat> and then, you know what? I'm going to get rid of some of this cobblestone. We'll put this away, as well as the dirt, and then we'll put this wood away, too. Because I'm probably going to be using the dark oak planks for my underground farm. I was either considering that or some deep slate because I really like how this looks. So I'm probably going to go with the deep slate. But anyways, guys, look at this brand new hub here. So I have all of the lanterns put up. I crafted those off camera. And I, I just think it really looks nice. This, this building is beautiful. I continued the pattern up here for the second story. And I'm thinking about put, putting a swimming pool on the top layer, as well as maybe a diving board down into the this part below. And another thing, guys, I did off camera was I started constructing this little staircase out of these birch half slabs. I think it really looks nice. Kind of goes with the flow of everything. And I will be making some uh, pillars for supports. So it's going to go into the water down below. And we're going to have a nice little dock down here where I could store all of my fish, my fishing rods and everything. It's really going to look nice, guys, when this is all said and done. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you think of this design so far. This is going to be probably like a 15 to 20 minute episode. I'm, I'm not really going to go too lengthy for this video because uh, my last video was like 40 minutes long. It was a little bit lengthy, so I, I apologize for that. I just wanted to get a nice building video in. And yeah, other than that guys, I've just been working on this off camera, not really doing that much of other stuff. Here, let's eat some bread real quick. Okay, and I guess we're gonna go and start. You know what? You know what I was thinking is... Hmm, let's see. I'm going to be needing some... I'm gonna need some polished diorite here. I, I don't know if I have enough of that. So that might be an issue. Because, let's check our valuables. Yeah, I have 34. That, that's probably not gonna do it. But that's okay. I'm, I'm not going to worry too much about this right now. Um, I just want to kind of get the general base planned out here. So let's see. We're going to go... Yeah, we're going to go... We're just going to continue this all the way down. All the way down here. Just like this. And another thing I want to do for this section is I want to have... Um, a nice little walkway over here so I'm thinking about using the the dark oak as the floor that's gonna really uh, pop and look nice but first guys let's go ahead and sleep I don't want any nasty creatures spawning on us oh whoops it was about to type some letters there alright so we're gonna go here and get some deep slate and my friend Gerardo, he actually posted in the comments on my last video that you could turn these into deep slate bricks. I'm going to see. Let's see. Oh, deep slate bricks. 
Okay, so maybe I'll do that for the, instead of the polished deep slate, maybe I'll do that for the walls within this area. I think it's going to look beautiful when it's all said and done. So, yeah, let's get dark oak. Those are some more. And you know what? i got to get rid of this stupid stuff. I need an incinerator in my base. Maybe I'll build that in the next episode, too. Because so I'm going to get rid of some of this junk. And as always, I really like using the, the half slabs. I just, I think a little goes a long way. It just makes it really nice and everything flows beautifully. Okay, so we're going to go over here. And we're going to put these dark oak pieces down. Just like this. And am I able to... Oh, I am able to put a torch, so that's good. I forgot about that. For some reason, I thought you weren't able to. But if it goes, like, down here, then I won't be able to put a torch, obviously. Yeah, see? It's not gonna work. Alright, I need to get an axe, too. I really didn't prepare that well, like, in the last episode. I just kinda decided to do this for today. Something quick and easy. We always like that. Alright, so that's good, I think. And then, on this side, I'm gonna need some more polished diorites, I think. Let's see. So we're two over, and then there's that. So now let's see on this side. We got two over. So we're going to need to destroy this, I think. Yeah, just like that. All right. So it took me... I've been doing a lot of work off camera, guys, trying to get this base planned out. And in the next episode, I actually plan on continuing this floor pattern all the way down we'll have a nice little vicinity scoped out here and maybe off camera too I'll get some more stuff going in here Ooh, I want to make sure it's well lit I don't want any mobs spawning I think it's gonna be beautiful though okay nice so we got this going it's gonna be perfect when it's all said and done I just hope I don't misplace any blocks here. There we go. Okay. And yeah, so it's going to be... Maybe I could even run some down the center, too. Keep it nice and organized. Let's fill that in. And then this is obviously going to be the water trough going down the centers. The center of each section. Look at this. This looks really cool. And maybe if I have some time, I'll craft some more lanterns. Because I really, I would like those to hang from the ceiling. Whoops. I think we got to destroy this here. Yep. There we go. And I think the dark oak kind of, it really goes with this color scheme here. I never realized how many blocks were added over the years to this game. It's kind of insane. Whoops. Kind of misplaced that there, but that's okay. And then for this section that's kind of hovering above here, I will probably redo this and add some cool little design. I just want to have it pretty simple for now. All right, cool. And looks like we're going to need some more. So let's go back inside, place some more torches on the wall. If I have some time, like I said, I will... Uh, clean this up make it look a little bit prettier off camera <clears throat> but yeah uh, I was going to record some more Jack and Daxter this weekend but unfortunately my grandma she had a incident at the nursing home so I had to go and help her out there it just really sucks because she has dementia and she's starting to forget like everything but I guess that's what happens when you get older. Stuff starts going haywire. It always happens to the best people, too. We just gotta, you know, just think of the best scenario and just keep my grandma comfortable until then. Hopefully nothing else goes wrong. But I will still continue to upload, guys. I'm never gonna stop uploading. I'm always gonna be making YouTube videos, that's for sure. Because this is my passion, and I want to turn this into my full-time job eventually. 
That would be awesome. Okay, we got this. Now we're gonna go here. And yeah, this is gonna be a nice little simple design. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys would be interested too if me and me doing some time lapse vi build videos where I don't commentate at all, I just do just go around and build stuff around my base. Because so I think that'd be pretty interesting. Or even let me know if you want me to do some Minecraft live streams. Because that's always interesting. Ooh. Can we pick that torch up? Nah, it's still hovering down below. That's okay, though. We'll take one for the team there. Okay, now we got this. I think we are on our way to victory. Now, just trying to decide if I should use... Let's use maybe this. So I'm going to get some torches going. I'm going to need some more on this other side, though. Like right over here. We're going to have to make another wall. But I only have 12 left, so that's not going to work. Hmm. What to do, what to do. First off, we're going to do this. Instead of walking back and forth like crazy, I'm going to make an infinite spring here. And then we'll be able to till the soil nice and quickly. Good thing I have an, another infinite spring over here. I could just take from it. Yeah, we could, I think we could just take from here. Yep. It's always good to have that. Have a backup plan. And yeah, I think off camera too I will... I will get some more lumber, because I need some more, that's for sure. Whoops. Okay, I didn't want to do that. Let's fill this in. Fill that in. Beautiful. Okay. Probably should have crafted more buckets, but that's, I guess that's okay. We'll just work with one at the moment. Another reason why I want to get these this done in this video is because I want to start utilizing and turning this into an automated farm. So I'm going to need plenty of redstone. Okay, perfect. Now we can just keep grabbing from here. Uh, yeah, right here. Alright, sweet guys. We're doing... Pretty good, making some good progress already. Just got a couple more spots to fill in. All right, I think we're done. Yeah, I think that's all. I think that's all solid right now. And before I forget, let's get some more torches down. There we go. Mm, let's place some more here. Nice. All right, guys. So far, so good. Now what I need to do is, yeah, let's get some more torches because I want to put these around the uh, perimeter. That way my crops can properly grow. Just like this. Try to stay consistent too. I know it's not going to be perfect, but I'll fix this stuff up all off camera. Make it nice and even. Beautiful. Alright, so far I'm liking this design. And then, of course, we're going to have some strips running down the center. Where the water is, it's going to go all along here. But first, I, I got to go and fill this other section in. Just like this. Okay, and don't worry guys, I will be finishing Jack 2 in my next walkthrough series, after I finish that game, will be Ratchet Deadlocked, also known as Ratchet Gladiator on the PAL version. There we go, one of my favorite Ratchet and Clank games of all time. I just really love the story, the setting, everything, it's just great. So that should be a, a nice quick walkthrough. 
There we go. So far, so good. Now I'm going to... Uh, you know what? Let's take a look. I'm going to see how this looks. Let's see how this goes. It really doesn't matter because this is just the center support. What I had envisioned was this. We'll go... Let's see. One... Three, four, five, six. Wait, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So now we can have light on each side. And I don't know. I might. I might replace these torches with uh, with some lanterns. But I guess we'll just go and I'll check in the comments down below. See what you guys think. Because this might not be the proper light source I need. Oh, jeez. It's really coming down. I didn't even realize there was a thunderstorm out there. Oh, I hope my base isn't on fire. These thunderstorms are always super scary in this game. Alright, nice. We're at probably a little over 15 minutes right now. Which is exactly where I wanted to be. And then off camera, we're going to make this even more beautiful. There we go. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're going to have to... We'll fix this later. I'm not really too worried about it right now. Mm. All right, and booyah. That's good. As long as I have a little bit of lighting, I'm not too worried about it. All right, now we're gonna go this way. Fill this in. There we go, perfect. So that was nice and simple. Nothing too complex for today's episode. Because in the last video, we really, uh, Oh, that's flint. I was, I was like, what the hell? Why isn't that turning into a torch? <laughs> yeah, it's been a very long day at work, guys. So I just wanted something quick for today's uh, video. There we go. Nice. And we got this side, too. Let's go over here. Boom. Boom and boom. Okay, and then I'll probably continue this and we'll make a nice little glass section over here off camera. But so far, I am really liking this. And I think we're going to have to get the hoe out. We'll start tilling the soil. Because I want to have a ton of underground farms eventually in this fortress. What I had envisioned for this series is I want to have a main hub, which is going to be the fortress, and then I'm going to build a mountaintop mansion, as well as probably another modern home slash, uh, I don't know, just a, another unique building with bridges and all kind of different cool stuff. There we go. Oh, crap, my hosel just died on me. We're going to need a redo it real quick and once I finish this I think I'm gonna call it an episode guys cuz uh, it's already looking beautiful down here So let's go over here and we'll just make I think we're gonna just make two real quick this and this alright so hopefully this is gonna work out beautifully look at this and when I come back the next time around, I will do a quick little update showing what I finish off camera. I'm going to do that for every episode from now on. Do a lot of work off camera for like preparation for builds and stuff. Gathering the resources required for the builds. And then we'll go ahead and execute them. Jeez, look at that. That hose almost dead. <laughs> Perfect. Sounds like I'm playing Grand Theft Auto. 
Alright. So hopefully this will last us. Oh god, there's a freaking Enderman there. I'm gonna have to kill that guy eventually. Let's go over here. I don't want to take a chance and, and risk dying over a stupid Enderman. You know what? We could do this. Did that kill him? No, no, that just scared him. Hopefully he doesn't come back. I really want him to stay away. Endermans are probably my... I'm most fearful of those those mobs. Beautiful, guys. This looks awesome. And then, of course, uh, maybe I'll brighten it up, too, with all these dark colors. Maybe I'll just do birch. Birch wood for the, the siding. That way it could really brighten up this farm. But so far, I'm really liking this, guys. Let's go put this deep slate back for now. As well as the dark oak. Let's put this stuff in here. And what else do we need? We need some seeds in my farming. One, two, three, four. Yeah, let's just load up with seeds here. Let's get rid of this. Oh, I forgot about that one. Perfect. So, I'm thinking of doing... Oh, wait, you know what? I should have actually put some sand down. Uh, I'll do that off camera, too. Because I'm going to have the reed going in the center down uh, down here. It's going to look really, really nice when it's all said and done. Okay, so maybe I went over my quota for 20 minutes today, but that's alright. <laughs> I think you guys really enjoy my Minecraft episodes. And I love making these videos, too. It's just so rewarding. Because in the next video, the reason why I'm getting this farm going is because I want to start enchanting. I want to use up these levels before hopefully I, d I don't die off camera or something. There we go. Nice, look at this. This is looking great. And maybe I'll bring some of my building designs over from the, the co-op series I did with Jake. We built a bunch of different things in the Bay of Blackmar, which was kind of what we named the area we were building at. Alright, cool. Let's go down here. Then we'll have one more section. I'm so glad that I started farming off camera, getting all these seeds stockpiled up. Perfect. Okay, guys, so it looks like this is going to do it for this quick little episode. I hope you enjoyed this. And, of course, this section right here, I'm going to have... Uh, this will be my door entrance here. Um... You know what? Let's get this down here. I'm going to do it a little bit differently for this. I'm going to do it like this. Let's go here. Boom, boom, boom. And then, I guess we could put this here. I wonder if I should do a door or... Because then we'd have to deal with pressure plates. I really don't want to deal with pressure plates right now. Mm, I wonder if we have any more andesite. Uh, yeah, let's go take a look real quick. I gotta get some more andesite off camera. Uh, oh yeah, here we go. I also have this too. Yeah, we can make this work, guys. We could do it. Alright, that's on the inside, too, so we're consistent with our building. Beautiful. There we go. Then, of course, this is all going to be glass. So that way you'll be able to see into here. Jeez, I'm really liking this. Okay, that's good. We'll also put some torches up here just to keep it nice and well lit. Beautiful, guys. This is really coming along nicely. 
Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's quick little Minecraft build. I know it wasn't much, um, but at least we got this underground farm completed. And then in the next video, we're going to continue this pathway down here and possibly work on some other buildings. As you can see, I started carving out this section too. But thank you all so much for watching today's Minecraft episode, and stay tuned for more content coming throughout the rest of the week.